How's it going everybody? I'm Chart, also known as Chris Harp. Today I'm going to talk to you about the amazing capabilities of the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Now this is a handheld stabilizer for your smartphone. You can use it to track movement, take time-lapse videos, and also panoramic photos, all with the tap of a button. It's amazing what it can do, and I'm going to get into it right now. The DJI Osmo Mobile 2 comes in a small case concealed in a paper sleeve. Let's crack it open. Got some instructions, and here is the case. So you get the gimbal itself, you also get a charge cord, and you get the booklet. But nobody ever reads the booklet. I did because I'm doing this video for you, so let's see what else we've got. of a lightweight plastic it weighs in at 485 grams and it's about as big as my forearm so this thing takes amazing video and pictures using three axis motion to get great shots and without a lot of handheld shake so on this let's see what you get so on this you're going to get leveling knobs you're going to get a zoom slider you're going to get pan or tilt joystick you're also going to get a power and mode button a record button a phone or external device charge port there's a gimbal charge port you also have a quarter 20 thread insert at the bottom for a tripod or anything else you want to hook up to this thing. So while this gimbal may look small, it has 15 hour battery life and can also charge your phone when you're not shooting on it. So the Osmo 2 works with any camera app, but it's only going to have limited functions. One of the great third party apps you can use with this is Filmic Pro, and it has a lot of advanced options that you can use to make great video. But today, I'm only going to focus on the app that's made specially for the Osmo 2, and that is the DJI Go app. So this is where the magic really happens with the Osmo 2. All you're gonna have to do is set up an account with DJI, pretty standard, and then get it powered on, Bluetooth synced to your phone, and you're ready to go. You're gonna have a large range of shooting options for picture or video, and this can all be done in landscape or portrait mode. So with the camera setting, you can get great one-off photos or selfies using HDR or standard mode, and you can also use the timer option for great group photos. Now panoramic shots are a snap or a tap, with great ultra wide angle shots, 180 degree or panorama shots. Now they've also included long exposure modes and light trail modes in order to get amazing motion shots. You also have a lot of customization with this app by being able to control the ISO, shutter speed and the white balance. And you can speed up the editing process by turning on beautify effects and making this look amazing all while taking pictures. So when you're ready to shoot video, you can still take advantage of setting the manual adjust to make your shot look great and then get ready to jump into some great video features. So you can shoot video all the way from 720p all the way up to 4K in 30 frames a second or you can switch it up to 60 frames a second using 1080p. So you thought that was it, but this gimbal can also shoot in slow motion, hyperlapse, motion lapse and time lapse. A lot of amazing features in such a small gimbal. shots would be almost impossible to get for the average point and shoot person but with this gimbal it's just all in the palm of your hands you can set the gimbal to lock in a specific direction or you can use active track to lock it on to whatever you want it to the DJI app displays battery life for the gimbal and the smartphone so you're always going to know when it's time to charge and when you're good to shoot video the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 is a great product I looked at a few different gimbals before purchasing this one uh, but with the long battery life, awesome app, and smooth video footage, it was the only way to go for me. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the views. Uh, leave any comments that you'd like. And if you like what you saw today, then please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.